got the old C10 in the garage and uh, kind of happy and a little bit sad at the same time because again here we are many times throughout my life of messing with these old junks you hear a noise you feel a vibration and you automatically think of the worst at least that's what I always did I never thought about the simple things that it could be so I automatically said oh blew the rear end something's wrong with the rear end I'm gonna have to get another one start looking around and then you see this is what YouTube is good for especially with me don't have a garage with a bunch of people around giving their random thoughts sometimes one of those thoughts locks in your head and you say hmm he might have a point there well someone commented on my video and uh, most people were saying you know say out pinion which is what I figured you know a cracked pinion gear or you know because it had that sound it had that weird sound and to me that uh, seemed like something was wrong in there but this one guy says you know sometimes a u-joint without being noticeably loose and you know being able to most u-joints I've had you know go you can grab the drive shaft and shake it around you know oh yeah need a u-joint you know and you can usually catch it and put one in in time other times your drive shaft rolls right out from under the truck on the highway I've had that happen but in this case this one it hung on but as you can see junk U joint is junk. See that? Cap right there, moving. Yep, that's what's causing all that noise and racket. Feeling a little bit stupid. All this worrying just goes to show you don't always jump to the worst conclusion. Sometimes you just kind of think about the simple things that it might be. Go for that first. Don't do like me. Can't even move it. Seized right in that spot. These caps don't look too bad, but it's uh these ones that are still in there. It's a it's a replacement. It's got a grease fitting. So it's been replaced, but someone did not grease it, or it was just it's time to go. Nobody home. A little bit of dust. That's all that's left. No bearings at all left in there. Imagine that. You're supposed to have all those.
friend of mine, an old friend, used to call him, his nickname was Whatever It Takes. Because uh, no matter what time of night, he would always make it happen. My old vehicles, any problems I had. One time, I dropped one of these caps off my U-joint. And uh, it was late at night. All the bearings fell out. He collected all those bearings and sat there and put them all back in one of those caps, put it back together, and I was on the road. Pretty crazy. This, uh, it's actually, I don't know if you can see, but I saw a crack. It's hard to see, but it's actually cracked right down the side. I was just riding around there. No bearings, squeaking away, making weird noises. Got a real spicy one for it. 25 bucks better than hundreds well that was pretty good news for the day that's all set I can worry less and have my old truck to drive around and I also got a YouTube gift. My buddy Dave on YouTube sent me a little gift for the Suburban. Nice old Edelbrock performer. Weird. CW got a flat too and uh, then I put the spare on but that was leaking so I took the spare from the Suburban for now I don't know about you but Kind of cool looking. It's a deep dish. I like the way that looks. I got angry at the valve stem. Different look that gives it.